what you're about to see is, we believe, the most accurate depiction ever made of when God descended upon Mount Sinai as told in the book of Exodus. Never before has the miracle at Mount Sinai been shown using the actual mountain that is probably the real Mount Sinai. Thanks to your support of the Doubting Thomas Research Foundation, it can now be seen as never before. And we hope to begin releasing videos every week or two, and we have great opportunities for future research. So if you appreciate what we do, if you like this video, please consider donating at least one tax-deductible dollar using the links in the description box below. We have Venmo, PayPal, and an address for checks. And again, it's tax-deductible, so we're actually asking for less than a dollar. Thank you, and enjoy the video. Before the mountains were brought forth, wherever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Alone Moses climbed the steep and jagged rocks of Mount Sinai, placing his feet in steps made without hands. And far up on those solitary heights, he drew near to the cloud that marked the place of God's presence. And it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunders and lightnings and a thick cloud upon the mount, and the voice of the trumpet exceeding loud, so that all the people that was in the camp trembled. And Mount Sinai was all together on a smoke, because the Lord descended upon it in fire, and the smoke thereof ascended as the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mount quaked greatly. of the trumpet sounded long and waxed louder and louder, Moses spake, and God answered him by a voice. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and show your mercy unto thousands of them that love me, and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day, to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant.